I'm doing well, Mr. Hill. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. Can you talk a little bit about your uh, victory over the weekend and the development of your quarterback, Mr. Uh, Jared Lewis, and uh, your takeaways uh, from Saturday? I'm really proud of Jared. Jared has really stepped up and, and become a leader. Um, has really worked well uh, with our offensive staff in terms of the play calling, uh, being able to, to change plays at the line of scrimmage, and also just uh, having that leadership role. So his development has been slow, but it's been progressive. And I was very proud of him uh, uh, coming out and, and, and uh, throwing the long ball and making some tough throws that he made um, and uh, his, uh, really has taken his game to another level. And then, uh, you know, every time he throws, somebody's got to catch it. And, and Trey Groves has been been his go-to target. And uh, uh, But the one thing I can say about Jared, he has spread the ball around. Although he has thrown a lot of touchdowns to Trey, he's definitely spreading the ball around to a lot of different receivers and giving everybody an opportunity to get involved, which makes our offense much stronger. Coach Milstead, now we get into uh, what we call November football, and it can be very challenging. Um, uh, you'll see Morgan State, and the list goes on. But just talk about uh, the concept of November football and why that's so important in HBCU and in college football as a whole. Well, uh, especially this year for Delaware State, after uh, our bye week, it was a straight MEAC run. And every week there's going to be a MEAC team. And I said this before, that the MEAC is so evenly yoked in terms of uh, the players and, and coaches and the competitive nature that it's anyone's ball game any given week. And uh, in November, coming down to crunch time, you know, you still have several teams that are still in the hunt uh, uh, for uh, the MEAC championship. It can still go any way. Um, and, and it's exciting. And especially for HBCU football, November is the month. You know, it all comes down to the last final games, usually to decide who's going to be uh, the champion of the prospective conferences. And that's usually decided in November.